Hi, it's Jackie. We're going to do a little yoga again together today. So take a moment and get the things that you need. If you have a yoga mat, you can set that out on the floor. If you have no yoga mat, you can just lie on the floor. It's fine. If you have room behind you to stretch your arms up over your head, that would be great. So make sure you have plenty of space. So take a moment, get yourself set up, and please uh, give yourself this little bit of time for some self-care. Turn off your phones, turn off your computers, the devices, close the door if you can. Just let yourself have a little time and a little space and let your body rest and um, get nurtured for the next uh, 30, 40 minutes. We're going to begin today lying on our back. So you can come on down to the floor and take a moment to lie down. <clears throat> when you get onto your back, it's a good time to check to see that you have the space behind you that you need to stretch your arms up over your head. You might even reach a little bit, stretch a little bit with your fingers, and then lower your arms back down. Give yourself a little hug, wrap your hands around your shoulders and massage your upper back. You can rock and sway and you can pat yourself on the back and say, I'm so happy to be here with you. And just notice your back. You might feel that stretch all the way down the muscles along the back. And you can switch the way you're crossing your arms and pat yourself on the back again and give yourself another little rocking hug. And then release your hands down. Situate your hips and shoulders so you're comfortable and rest your hands on your belly. And then just look around the room with your eyes only. Don't turn your neck. Just let your eyes scan the room. You can go up and down, left and right, or you can do like the hands of a clock and move your eyes around the space that you're in. Just get yourself oriented. Good for your eye muscles as well. And then you can either choose one spot to look at or close your eyes. Begin to settle. So noticing your spine now, you can feel the support of the floor underneath your head and the weight of your head so that your neck and shoulders can relax. And then you can feel your thoracic spine, your rib cage, the mid-back, and then the low back around your hips and belly. And just feeling that support, allowing yourself to settle down for your practice. <clears throat> and then begin to notice your breath. And breathing in and out through your nose, gently begin to deepen the inhales and lengthen the exhales. And take a few rounds of breath, nice and smooth, so that the breath is even, meaning that the length of the inhale and the length of the exhale are about the same. This tends to make us lengthen the exhale, which has a calming effect on the brain, on the central nervous system. So as you continue to cultivate that slow, smooth rhythm to your breath, let your hands come down onto the floor beside you with the palms facing down. And you can do this with your eyes closed if you like. As you begin your next inhale, let your arms lift up over your head to the floor behind you. Spread your fingers, enjoy the stretch. And as you exhale, bring your arms down by your sides and pull your belly in. And do a few more rounds, moving at your own pace, so breathing with your own, moving with your own breath, so that the inhale you reach up and the exhale you lower down. You might even notice if your hands touch the floor at the same time. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower, and as the hands come down, pull your belly in. <clears throat> Start to engage the abdomen. Let's do one more repetition. Again, breathing as slowly as you can. And then exhale your hands down, and when they reach the floor, by your hips, pause. And then we're going to lie flat by stretching the legs out onto the floor. So once you've stretched your legs out, please flex your feet. So reaching through the heels and spreading the toes like you were standing up on the floor, and you should feel the leg muscles engage. And keeping your legs firm, inhale both arms up over your head. 
stretch a little bit. And on this exhale, as you lower your arms down, bring the right knee into your chest and give it a little hug with your hands. Notice your right hip. On your inhale, lengthen back out. Bring your leg down to the floor and your arms up. Flex the feet. And then exhale your left knee into your chest and give it a hug. Inhale, stretch out. We'll do both sides one more time. So exhale, right leg stretches, tucks in, and the hands give it a little hug. And as you stretch out, see if your heel can touch the floor right when your hands touch the floor. If your hands touch, they might not touch, that's okay. Exhale, left knee in, give it a hug. And then just see how smoothly you can coordinate stretching out your leg and stretching out your arms. So let's go back to the right leg on the exhale, and we're going to add some movement with the right leg. <clears throat> so exhale, draw it into your chest, and on the inhale, open the right knee out to the right side. And then on the exhale, draw the knee up and across your body into a little twist. So you could lift the right hip up if it's comfortable for you. You can roll the left foot over to the side. Inhale back to the center, and once your hips are on the floor, straighten that leg toward the ceiling and flex both feet. And then exhale, bend the knee, give it a hug. And then inhale, leg back down, arms up over your head. And then we'll repeat that on the left side. So exhale, left knee into your chest, give it a little hug. Inhale, open it out to the left side. And then exhale, draw the knee across the midline, and maybe you lift your hip, maybe the foot rolls to the side, the right foot. Inhale back to the center. When the hips are on the floor, lift your leg toward the ceiling. Flex both feet. And then exhale, bend the knee and give it a hug. And then inhale, stretch back out. Arms down, arms over your head and leg back down. And here we go to the right side again. Exhale. Inhale, open out to the side. Right knee, right side. Exhale, across the body, little twist. You don't have to pull with your hand. Try to do the movement with your leg. Inhale back to the center and lift the leg up toward the ceiling. Flex both feet. And on the exhale, give that knee a hug. And this time, if you like, you can lift your chest up towards your knee. And then as you inhale, lower your head softly. Stretch your leg out. Bring your arms up over your head. And exhale, left knee tucks in. Inhale, opening out to the side. Exhale across the midline, using your leg and your belly to make the movement. Don't pull with your hand. And then inhale back to the center and lift the leg up toward the ceiling. Flex both feet. Exhale, bend the knee if you like. You can lift your chest here. And then stretch back out on your inhale. Now this exhale, just lower your arms down by your sides and pause for a moment. You can even up your hips and shoulders. Notice how you feel after those movements. And then please bend your knees one at a time. Pull them up into your chest. And then we're going to do a, a, another movement lying on our back. So if you can stretch your arms out to the sides. You can have them about shoulder height. Notice if you've got them way up by your ears. Have them a little bit lower than your shoulders so the shoulders are relaxed. Palms down. And then draw your knees into your chest one at a time. And we're going to twist side to side here. So as you inhale, lengthen your arms. And as you exhale, let both knees rock to one side. They might be touching. They might not. But see what you can do. And then inhale back to the center. Start small, and then we'll gradually increase the movement. So exhale to the other side. And you can turn your head the opposite way if you like. And inhale, center. Keep drawing the knees close to your chest. So exhale. So if this is a little challenging, maybe your knees don't touch. But if it's easy for you, as you inhale up, hug your knees together. And then exhale to the other side, turning the head the opposite way. And inhale, hugging the knees together. And then depending on how that's going for you, you might even try to draw your knees all the way over to the floor and touch your elbow. You can draw them up close. Inhale back to the center with your knees touching. And then exhale over, touch your elbow, maybe turning the head the opposite way. Inhale, center, slowly as you can. And we'll just do each side a couple more times. So exhale over a little or a lot. 
the knees toward the chest. Inhale back up. Exhale over. Feel free to turn your head the opposite way. Inhale back up. Let's do one more to each side. So exhale over. Inhale center. Exhale over. Inhale center. Hopefully you're feeling a little work there in your belly. And then lower your feet back down to the floor. And keeping the knees bent a pretty good bit so your feet are pretty close to your body and the heels lined up with your hip bones. So the hips and the knees and the heels are all in line. We're going to lift up into the bridge pose so we can stretch out the abdomen and the front of the hips. So push, letting your hands be palms down and your neck even looking toward the ceiling. On your next inhale, lift your hips up any amount. And on your exhale, slowly lower back down and hug your abdomen and hug the belly in as you lower. And we'll do that a couple more. So slow inhale to lift. You could push your elbows down as you lift up to help the chest open. And then exhale down, hugging in the belly. Inhale, lift. And on this exhale, we'll hold in place. Keep your knees right in line with your hips. On your inhale, lift a little more. On the exhale, come on down. Smooth and slow. And this time we'll hold two breaths, keeping your neck even. Lift on the inhale. Stay on your exhale. Pull your belly in. Stay on your inhale. Maybe a little more lift. Hold exhale. Stay on the inhale. And then come down on the exhale. And we'll do one more time. And we'll try to stay three breaths if you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold, hugging in the belly. Inhale, just try to find a little more height. And as you hold on the exhale, try to keep it and don't let your knees go out to the sides. Another inhale. Another exhale. That's two breaths. One more inhale. And then you can exhale down. Take a moment to notice how you feel and then draw your knees into your chest and give them a little hug. And you can rock on your back. You can massage your back. You may also enjoy um, moving your ankles here or shaking the feet. So for the next movement, we're going to come onto hands and knees. So lower, roll over to one side and push yourself up. And you may find that it's helpful when you come onto hands and knees to uh, pad your knees. I like a blanket. You can use a towel or something if you need it. You can do that. So come onto all fours. We'll start in the tabletop position. So we'll have the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips so all the joints are stacked. And on your inhale, lift your chest and your eyes. On your exhale, Pull the belly in so your back starts to round, and then just lower your elbows down. Fold back to the child's pose, and then inhale back to tabletop, lifting your chest. And then exhale back to child's pose, and this time when you rise up, take your right leg back behind you. So push the heel back. Try to keep your hip level. Don't roll the hip up. And then exhale, put your knee down and fold back, letting the elbows touch. And then inhale, lift your left leg, again, flexing the foot, keeping that hip level, and then exhale down. And then we'll add the arms. So as you inhale, lift your right leg and the opposite arm, so left arm forward. And on the exhale, put your hand and your knee down and fold back. And then the other side, left leg, right arm, slow inhale to lift. And when you touch down, can your hand and your knee touch right at the same time? Let's do each side again. So right leg, left arm. Eyes might be looking down. You don't have to lift your chin. And then exhale down, letting everything touch right together. Fold back. And then left leg, right arm, inhale. 
then exhale down smoothly. <clears throat> and this inhale, just come up to tabletop. Ground down through your hands and take your right leg back again. And this time put your toes on the floor. And this does help to level out the hips and to stretch the back of that leg. And first inhale, just lift your right foot. Again, right at the height of your hip so you're not rolling the hip open. And then exhale, touch your toes down. While your foot's on the floor, inhale your left arm forward. Exhale in place, pull your belly in. And when you inhale now, lengthen the left arm and let your right foot lift up. So on the exhale, either hold or touch your toes back down. Pull your belly in. And on your inhale, lift your foot or hold and lengthen a little more. Two more breaths like that. Exhale, touch the toes down or hold. Inhale, get a little length. Pick up your foot if you touched it down. And one more. Exhale, belly in. Inhale, and then come down as smoothly as you can. Folding back to child's pose. Feel free to move your right wrist a little. Inhale to tabletop. All right, we'll do that on the other side. So the left leg's going to go back with the toes on the floor, and you get that little stretch. And just being aware of the right hip, and on your inhale, lengthen your leg and lift your heel off the, your toes off the floor so the heel lifts. And then exhale, touch your toes back down. And do that again. Take the whole inhale. It's not a very big movement, so go slow. Exhale as the toes touch down. Pull the belly in on the exhale. And then keep your foot on the floor and inhale your right arm forward. Hold on the exhale. And now we're going to lengthen the arm and lift the foot. Inhale. Either stay on the exhale or touch your toes back down. Pull your belly in. And then inhale, lengthen. Pick up your foot if you touched it down. Hold, exhale. Hold, inhale. One more exhale, and you're welcome to touch the toes down if it's helpful. One more inhale. And then everything down as smoothly as you can and fold back. Feel free to move the wrists. Inhale to tabletop. And then a movement with some symmetry. So those are asymmetrical movements, those lifts. So tuck your toes under and push up to downward facing dog pose. And take a few breaths here. You might enjoy starting out in the pose with your knees bent, pushing your hands down, lengthening your hips up. You can pedal out your legs as you like. Keep some awareness of your breath. Stretching out the back side of the body, the back of the legs, the back of the spine. And when you feel ready to come down, lower your knees on an inhale. If you want to put your elbows down on the floor, this can be a nice way to uh, get off the wrist and also to move the hips. If you're still in, in the pose and downward dog, go ahead and put your knees down. And then from wherever you are, <clears throat> push up, and we're going to stand on our knees. So padding here could be helpful. You can have the toes tucked under or the feet flat, whichever you prefer. And like we did lying on the floor at the beginning, we're going to lift the arms over the head. You could also do this with your arms out to the side if that's better for your shoulders. So as you're ready, as if the breath is moving you, inhale the arms up. Lift your chest, lift your eyes. And exhale, hands down, eyes down, belly in. And again, inhale, lengthen up. And you feel that opening along the front of the hips and the front of the chest. Exhale down. So a little more of a back bend in this position than when you're lying on your back. So inhale, opening up any amount. And the exhale brings you down. And we're going to do it again, but we're going to add on the exhale a bow forward like child's pose. So this time as you lift your arms, please sweep them out to the side and up. And on the exhale, sweep your hands behind your back. Let them stack up on your low back. Bend at your hips and fold forward a little, or maybe you can bow your head all the way down to the floor. And on the inhale, begin to lift your chest, sweep your arms back out to the side, rise up with a long spine. And we'll do it that way a couple more times. 
<clears throat> exhale down. So you want to be able to get back up. So if you couldn't get up, don't go down so far. And then lift the chest, long arms to come up. You might feel the muscles in your back working a little bit. And then again, exhale down. Pulling in the belly here. And then the nice, sweet inhale to reach up. Now this one, we're going to add a variation. So we're going to keep the left arm over the head. And when we bow down, only the right arm is going to go behind. And turn your head to the right. And then lengthen that left arm. Lift your chest as you rise up. Let the right arm come up too. And we're going to do that two more times, same side. So exhale, right hand behind. Take a bow. Turn your head right. And then lengthen up. Inhale, lift your arm, lift your eyes. Both arms up. Again, exhale down. A little more load on your spine with that arm forward. Again, lift the chest, lift the arm, and rise up. Now this time, do the first movement, both hands behind the back, exhale, bow down a little or a lot, lift your chest, reach up, inhale, and then we'll switch arms, so the left hand behind your back this time on the exhale, turn your head left, take a bow, and then lengthen and lift your chest as you come up, lift your left arm too, and two more to that side, so exhale down, belly in, left, head turns left. And then inhale, lengthen back up. And last one to the left side. Exhale. Slowly lifting. Both arms up. And then we'll do a couple more with both hands. So both hands sweep behind your back. Slowly bow. Both hands sweep out to the side. Slowly lift. This is called the lightning pose. Exhale down. Vajrasana, if you like Sanskrit names, it's called Vajrasana. This time when you get to the top, you can lower your arms down. Take a moment to notice your shoulders. You can turn your head side to side. And then to stretch out our back after that, please lower your hands back down to the floor. And we'll do a little downward facing dog again. So ground down through your hands, spread the fingers wide, tuck your toes and push up to dog pose. holding, breathing. So an interesting thing to do in this pose is to bend the knees a little. So when you soften the knees, maybe the hamstrings, give your give yourself a little bit of space to lift your hips up more. Pushing down through the hands, lifting up through the hips. And then if you can lengthen your heels down more and not lose any of that length in your spine, you can do that. Or you can bend one knee at a time. What movement's helpful for you? And then you're welcome to stay in the pose longer or you can come put your knees down and come to the child's pose and turn your head side to side. So if you haven't already come down on an inhale, please lower your knees down. And we're going to rest in child's pose for a moment. So some people find it helpful to widen the knees. When you come down, you can rest your head on the, if it touches the floor, fine. If it doesn't touch the floor, you can stack up your hands. It does tend to muffle my microphone if I get down too far, so I lift my head up a little bit. And then rock a little bit, see how that feels. Take some deep breaths. And then please push yourself up, and we're going to turn over and lie back down in the back again. So if you have that padding under your knees, you can slide it out of the way. <clears throat> Once you're on your back, you can take a moment to notice your spine again. So get situated so your shoulders and your hips are comfortable. You can rest your hands on your belly. Have your knees bent for now. And noticing your neck, your cervical spine your chest, your thoracic spine, and your hips and low back, your lumbar spine. You might notice that some parts of the spine are touching the floor and some parts are not. You might notice your breath.
All right, so walk your feet in so they're hip width apart, and then please lift your uh, right leg up toward the ceiling. Push that heel up, and on the exhale, pull your belly in. And what we're going to do on the inhale is lower that straight right leg down to the floor, and at the same time, lift your left arm over your head. You feel those opposite sides lengthening away from each other. On your exhale, hug your belly in first, lift your leg, lower your arm. And again, lower your leg, lift your opposite arm over your head. Can they touch at the same time? Exhale, belly in, lift your leg, lower your arm. Do it again. Inhale, leg down, arm up, and maybe they touch right at the same time. Exhale, leg up, arm down, and then pause when your leg is in the air. And just for a breath, lift your right heel up a little bit more. You're keeping your heel right over your hip, not drawing your foot close to your face. Just straight up and just feel that lengthening in the back of the leg. When you get to an exhale, bend your knee and take the inhale to lower your foot down. How smoothly can you do that? Take a breath. And then please lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Again, the heel is right over your hip. And thinking about your breath, on the inhale, lower that leg down and lift your right arm up, and maybe they touch the floor right at the same time. Opposite sides. Exhale, pull your belly in, and then lift your leg and lower your arm smoothly as you can. So inhale, leg down, arm up. So your arm actually has a little further to go than your leg. So you have to think about it to coordinate the touching. Exhale, belly in, leg up. Excuse me, and arm down. Yeah. Again, leg down, arm up. Inhale, opposite sides. And then belly in, leg up, arm down. And then pause with your leg in the air, and on your inhale, lift your heel up more. It's okay if there's a bend in your knee, but we're just getting some stretch along the back of the leg. Exhale, pull your belly in. Inhale, you can spread the toes. That might help that lifting. And then take the whole exhale to bend your knee, and the whole inhale to lower your foot down to the floor. And then just notice the two sides. And then move your feet out to the edges of your mat or wider than your hips if you're not on a mat. And we're going to windshield wiper the knees side to side. So exhale to one side. You can turn your head the opposite way. And then inhale center. So we did a twisting movement at the beginning when we had the knees really close to the chest and the belly was hugged in and the hips were hugged in. This one you get to open up the front of the hips. So inhale center. Exhale, turn the knees to one side. You're welcome to turn the head or not turn the head. Inhale, center. The next time your knees go to the left, stay to the left. And if you need a little support under the legs, you can add some cushions, pillows, yoga blocks are good. You don't want to feel this in your joints. You want to be feeling this mostly in the muscles, which is probably the front of your leg or maybe down your back a little bit. You could take the right arm out to the side. You could lift your right arm up over your head. And another option, which is good for some people and, and not good for everyone, is to put the left ankle up on top of the right thigh. Again, for some people, that just doesn't feel real good. If it hurts your back here, probably not a good movement for you. Or if you feel it in your knee joint or your hip, for me, some days it's good and some days it's not. Another breath. As we settle, as we do these little stretches at the end, you can let out um, the breath through your mouth, which has a, a releasing, relaxing quality. So if your foot's still up on your leg, please bring it down, and you can also lower your arm. And inhale everything back to the center and pause. So notice your shoulders and your hips. Notice your feet. Make sure the hips are even and your feet are still wide and then we're going to go to the other side with the knees so take your knees to the right and again feel free to support the legs with a blanket pillow maybe you have a yoga block those are helpful 
And then maybe the left arm is out to the side or the left arm is up above your shoulder or even all the way up beside your head. They're all good spots, different stretches in those different places. And then if you like, you can see how it feels to put your right ankle up on top of your left thigh. Maybe that feels okay for you. If it doesn't, please bring your foot back down. Take two or three more breaths that are just a little longer on the exhale. Sighs are good. And then on your next inhale, if your foot is up on your leg, lower it down, and you can also lower your arm. And then when you inhale the next time, bring your knees up to the center and pause once again. Shift your shoulders and hips around so they're even. And rest your hands on your belly. And you may enjoy having your feet just a little bit apart and your knees touching or just letting your legs rest in in any comfortable position with the knees bent. And again, notice your spine, where you're touching the floor, where you're not touching the floor. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, you can close the eyes or just soften the eyes by looking at one one spot. Begin to let go now of the effort to breathe any particular way. Just let your body breathe on its own and begin to settle down for a few moments to rest. So you can be aware of how it feels to have your knees bent here, and if you like, you can stretch out flat with your legs on the floor. If you lie flat today and you notice that it felt better for any reason at all, it just felt better when your knees were bent, keep your knees bent. Or you can put a pillow or a cushion under your knees, a rolled-up blanket under your knees, or even resting your legs up in a chair or on the sofa can be quite nice, especially for the low back and the hamstrings, the backs of the legs. So you choose how you want to relax and begin to settle your body so you can rest comfortably. You can have your hands on your belly or out to the sides. And I'll end with a closing prayer, a message. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. May we all be safe. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. May we all live with ease. May we all live in peace. Please continue to let your body rest for another five, even ten minutes. Give yourself permission to rest. If If you're anxious and you feel like you need to hop right up off of the floor, try staying for 12 breaths. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.